IV police. Uh, let's talk now to Luferino, who is uh, with me, as you, many of you will remember him as the incredible hope. You are standing right there. So you're live on Sky News in London at the moment so as we speak. Look, you've got to look down on me today. Um, you're very tall, aren't you? Yes, tell, so. me, uh, tell me about the memorial service and what it means to you. I think it's wonderful. We've got the family coming now. going to bring a lot of emotion. We're going to get to see the Jackson sisters and the brothers. And I hope it'll be a national holiday from there. Because the whole world watching it and how much and I'm gonna say goodbye to Michael because he's a close friend of mine. And it's really sad because um, you know we lost the best. You had a similar ch um, challenge with your childhood, didn't you? Yeah, his escape and music, my escape was being a bodybuilding champion. And we were both extremists. And that's how we had a great connection because we share a lot of things because we both of us have strong dominating fathers. Now talk to me about the training that you did with him. Training was great. Treadmill, core training, ab training, band, everything, all for flexibility, stamina, and performance. But what made the whole thing is about the training because I was alone with him. He trusted me that the old Michael was coming back. He came back from Europe, back here with his kid, and he said, I'm going to really come back and show everyone. So, I mean, I couldn't, no, no one could give me a better expression than that. Did you not try and tell him not to take the drugs? That never came up. I, I didn't know anything about that because I didn't see him for a few weeks. I know he had a chronic sleeping disorder, so he had a hard time sleep. But we never showed any sign of being stoned. We just wanted to sleep. All the kind of drugs and everything that had to be resolved with the, with the police department. We'll find out what the report comes down. But far as I'm with him, never been in discussion. I've never seen him taking drugs. He had a jacket on. I've never seen needle marks. You have a fantastic physique. He was uh, indeed so so uh, most impressive. But um, he was very thin. However you look at it, he was very thin. Lean, yeah, he was 126 pounds out with him. Wow. But Now, in English days, money, that's about eight and a half stone. Right, but two days before he died, he was only giving a rehearsal for how he moved. So I think it was a stress, and I, like I said, he needed more time because it was like a crash course. And basically, getting ready for the tour, he, he owed like $400 million, so it was a lot of stress. I think it's hard to get up. What made him happy? Children, a close friend. People that he could trust. But the children, more than anything, we've not seen them with the children. They were out the house, and you know, at least he died happy. Talk to me about the kids. Um, he has tried, I mean, it was all a bit weird with the masks and that sort of thing. What sort of kids are they? What sort of children are they? They were nice, well mannered, they were not obnoxious, they were sweet. And he, he worked very hard to protect their privacy because of the way he grew up. And I know one thing, he did raise really different than his father did. He let them be who they want because growing up, Michael didn't have a childhood. He had a constant sing and dance and being, you know, driven by his father. But at least, you know, he had that chance to enjoy that part of his life before he died. We will let you get inside before it starts, I, trust I me. But all, all our viewers are fascinated by what you have to say. So if you could indulge us for just a couple more minutes. Tell me why you think um, he wanted Diana Ross to look after his children if anything happened to Catherine. Why? Why Diana Ross to look after the children if anything happens to Catherine? Because she's a sweet woman. And I think his mother, you know, she's 80, you don't know how much longer she can live. But he felt because of the close friend of Diana Ross, he knows that she would raise the kid like he wanted her to raise because she's seen how he's growing up with his father. Okay. What about um, what made him sad? You talked about what made him happy. Yeah, a lot of pain and anger. Why? Of growing up. When he was young, he would cry all the time because he felt like he was ugly, you know, he had acne, and he couldn't Why make... Why was that? Because he couldn't make friends. You know how to make friends. He would cry all the time. But... Is that because the... of his father? Partially, but the fact that he felt very self-conscious and never really had much of a social life. He was like a loner. And he told me all these did, mostly reading the Incredible Hulk comic, watching Hulk movies. But that was his fantasy. But that's how we came together, because he made up for our labor life. Tell me how the phone call went when he rang you and said, Hi, this is Michael Jackson. It was funny, but uh, he first used using the word Omar, kind of teased me inside. So, he's a funny show. <laughs> yeah, okay. But tell me what the mood will be like inside today. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be emotional. It's going to be sad. We're going to see the family. And he's not going to sing for us, but inside of us, we're going to sing for him. What are you most looking forward to? To see today how much the world was affected by him the past two weeks with nothing but joy and peace. Have you ever noticed reading the news? It's almost like a standstill. It's like a tribute to Michael because we'll never have another king like Michael. Final thought, Louis. 
I know you've got to go. Um, at home, a lot of people are thinking, put him to rest, let him lie in peace, and yet he's being brought here. Some people see this as him being paraded, and then maybe he'll be taken to Neverland, maybe not. Um, is this appropriate for Michael Jackson? Well, I think for the fan, I think they're going to be able to get a decision. I think they're going to get a chance to feel his soul. They make a connection with him because he wasn't brought here. Then we'll be looking at the movies and everything. At least that we all know that he's with us today. The garden is there, but he's with us. He's there. And how will you remember your friend? Can't replace him. I just, in my heart, remember what the things he taught me. That I would be better for myself and try to be a better dancer than I am today. We're going to let you go. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank you very much Thank indeed for joining us on Sky News. Thanks a lot. Lou Ferrino, uh, otherwise known as AKA the Incredible Hulk. He was the trainer for Michael Jackson and he last saw him about three weeks before he died. Uh, Matt Smith is still with us. He's down in the front pen. Uh, most of the fans inside now, presumably, Matt. That's right. The last few just uh, taking pictures outside the Memorial Hall inside the Staples Centre here, as you say, home of the uh, LA Lakers. Uh, the stage is set. Uh, it's uh, blue light on the stage at the moment, floral triplets in front of it, and a, and a, and a, a real sense of expectation about what's to happen. Uh, the body was brought in uh, to the Staples Centre here about 20 minutes or so ago. So presumably um, the arrangement's still going on backstage and to whether to start this, uh, when to start this uh, service with, we're saying we were hearing that it was going to be at the, at the top of the hour here has obviously been slightly delayed it's now obviously five past and we understand the next few minutes the tributes and the show will start a 90 minute show we understand a lot of it been kept under wraps we know there's some big names Lionel Richie uh, among them Stevie Wonder another one maybe be closing the show but also there's been talk about maybe a surprise appearance from Prince uh, maybe a surprise video tributes from uh, people like Madonna and Justin Timberlake and maybe Diana Ross starting the show as well they've done Amazingly well to get it together in such a short amount of time. And it has been slightly shrouded in secrecy, but maybe because the arrangements have been dealt with right up until the last minute. But fans really amazed that they're here. Um, there is a real mix of emotions for them. They're, they're very excited, but they're also very sad at the same time. But a lot of them just feel very lucky. They had to enter this online lottery. A million of them, million of them took part in this online lottery to win tickets. Uh, only 17,500 actually got them. Many more wanted them, and many more have come here, even though uh, the LAPD, Los Angeles Police Department, has locked down this area and said to any fans without tickets to stay away. But inside are 17,500 people ready to watch this show, as are an estimated billion TV viewers around the world. Indeed, so in fact, Sky 